Okay, guys. Okay, now let's go on. We have listening part two. Uh, the only change that took place in IELTS is that this part two. In the past, they used to call it section, and now they call it part. Right? This is the change here. Uh, so, questions 11 to 16. Complete the notes below. This sentence will always tell you about the type of questions you are doing. And the type of questions is notes completion. Complete the notes below. Write no more than two words. And you should encircle two so that it reminds you. And by the way, when you are filling your answer sheet in the last 10 minutes, then you have to recheck this again, that this question type is no more than two words. This is one word only, so that you don't write a wrong answer, okay? No more than two words means maximum two words, minimum one word, one word and or a number for each answer. National Arts Center, like we have National Arts College here in Lahore, NCA, they have National Arts Center. Well known for, underline well known. So they usually use the word popular, they use the word famous. Well known for means purpose. Why is it popular? Why is it famous? Well known for or popular for? So question number 11 is why is this art center famous or why is this art center or what is it that the art center is famous about? Just listen and answer. Section 2. You will hear a man talking on the radio about a National Arts Centre. Hello, and welcome to Focus on the Arts. I'm your host, Dave Green, and this is your very own local radio programme. Every Friday evening, we put the spotlight on different arts and culture facilities and look at the shows and events that are on offer in the coming week. And today, the focus is on the National Arts Centre. Now, if you don't already know it yourself, I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's famous throughout the world as one of the major venues for classical music. It is famous throughout the world as a major venue for classical music. Now, if you write only classical, it should be wrong. Yeah. Uh, because, no, it's not just two words. Sometimes one word can be, un uh, can be the answer as well. But only classical does not describe music. So the correct answer is classical music. Clear? Good. Let's go on. Then they will talk about concert rooms, theaters, cinemas. Means audio will continue then. It will go on and on. And you can, this hand will come over here. And this hand will follow when they talk about theaters, cinemas, art galleries, public library, restaurant. And at last they will talk about one thing. After restaurant. So whatever they say after restaurant and we also have and there is also that will be your answer. And it's going to be the type of things like theater, cinema, art gallery and all that. Please listen and answer. But did you know that it's actually much more than just a place to hear concerts? The center itself is a huge complex that caters for a great range of arts. Under a single roof it houses concert rooms, theaters, cinemas, art galleries and a wonderful public library as well as service facilities including three restaurants and a bookshop. Three restaurants and a bookshop. Now see, tracking the audio is very important. If you don't track the audio, it's, it becomes difficult for you. But once you go on theater, cinema, this, 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 you can easily find the answer. So make it a habit. Whenever you practice, do IELTS listening with both hands. One hand to track the audio, one hand to write the answer. So answer is... Bookshop and uh, you can write bookshop as one word or you can write it as two words or you can write it with the uh, hyphen that is that is going to be fine bookshop book shop if it is one word only then you will write bookshop together actually usually bookshop is written as one word but if you write it separately they will accept it if you write hyphen they will accept it okay let's go on historical background 1940 is mentioned destroyed now you are concerned about 19 60s to 17. Center was dash and built. Now, please focus the word built. Which form is it? Third form. Which tense is it? Past tense. Which voice is it? Active or passive? Passive voice. So, answer is going to be another verb. Center was designed and built. Designed. So, like this, they check your ability whether you understand tenses or not. If you write your answer in first form of the verb, your answer will be wrong. Because they've already used built 
built is third form so center was maybe center was designed and built center was prepared and built center was something like that now please listen and answer question number 13 uh, one thing we'll go on with 14 also because I've got the audios for both so question number 14 in dash now can you see uh, again yes it's a date and how do you understand because above that they have given the dates and then there is a hyphen so answer is going to be dash uh, it's a date open to public so when this national art center open to public for example in 1985 in 1990 in 2000 and then opened to public so let's see so at any one time the choice of entertainment there is simply enormous so how did they manage to build such a big arts complex right in the heart of the city well the area was completely destroyed by bombs during the war in 1940 so the opportunity was taken to create a cultural center that would be what they called the city's gift to the nation. Of course, it took a while for such a big project to get started, but it was planned in the 60s, built in the 70s, and eventually opened to the public in 1983. Ever since then, yeah. it has proved to be a great success. So, planned. Planned in 60s, built in 70s, and open to public in... 1983 so answer is going to be 1983 or even you can write 80s 1980s right i'm playing this one again so at any one time the choice of entertainment there is simply enormous so how did they manage to build such a big arts complex right in the heart of the city well the area was completely destroyed by bombs during the war in 1940 so the opportunity was taken to create a cultural center that would be what they called the city's gift to the nation. Of course, it took a while for such a big project to get started, but it was planned in the 60s. It was planned in the 60s. Built in the 70s. Built in the 70s. So planned. Spelling? P-L-A. Double N. Yeah, that's right. E-D. And now they talk about 83. And eventually opened to the public in 1983. And eventually opened to public in 1983. And have you noticed audio is fast? Right, so sometimes this happens. You need to go on quickly. Let's go on. Question number fifteen. Can you see they've written managed by? Yasin, Managed by. For managed by, they might use the word run by. Run by. So whatever they say after run by, that will be your answer. Please now listen and answer question number fifteen. It's not privately owned like many art centres, but is still in public hands. It's run by the city council. It's run by the city council. So do you guys understand the language which is going on in the audio and the language which is written on the question booklet? These two languages are different, uh, but same in meaning. Last, open dash days per year. Like they say, open 365 days per year, right? So it's going to be number of days that it is open. Let's see. Both our National Symphony Orchestra and National Theatre Company were involved in the planning of the project and they're now based there, giving regular performances every week. And as the centre is open 363 days of the year, there are plenty of performances to choose from. Okay, as the centre is open, 300 and? So how will you write 363? 363. Three, that's it. All clear? Good.